In the event of an attack by Russia on Poland or the Baltic states, there will be an immediate response. Allies will strike directly at St. Petersburg, said Polish Chief of General Staff Raymond Andrzejczak at the Defending Baltics Conference, according to BILD. According to Andrzejczak, if Russian forces cross the border into Lithuania, within the first minute, allies will target all of Russia's strategic assets within a 300-kilometer radius. We will strike directly at St. Petersburg, Andrzejczak declared. To prepare for such a scenario, Poland is currently purchasing 800 missiles with a range of up to 900 kilometers, which will be deployed if Russia attacks. Ukraine is buying us a few years. If Russia wins in Ukraine, we'll have one Russian division in Lviv, one in Brest, and one in Grodna, Andrzejczak added, emphasizing that an attack on the Baltic states or Poland would signal the beginning of total confrontation. Lithuanian presidential national security adviser Kastutis Budris also believes that if Russia wins in Ukraine, its imperialist expansionism will be directed at Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and Poland. He warned that the risk of aggression toward the EU will increase if Belarus becomes a fully integrated part of the so-called Union state. Lithuanian Army Commander Raimundas Vykes Noras added that the Baltic states would need to respond immediately, without waiting for NATO's decision under Article 5 on collective defense. Russia controls a bit of coast between Lithuania and Poland because of its strange enclave of Kaliningrad. And President Vladimir Putin remains in control of the far eastern corner of the Baltic Sea in the approaches to St. Petersburg, ironically once thought of as the window to the Western world by the Tsars beginning with Peter the Great. Today, in the event of a conflict between Moscow and NATO, any of Russia's warships there would be quickly and easily bottled up or destroyed. Recall, with the addition this year of Sweden and last spring of Finland to the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, the Baltic Sea has been dubbed a NATO lake by some analysts. Russia has redeployed about 50,000 troops to its Kursk Oblast, weakening its position on the battlefield in Ukraine. Oleksandr Sersky, commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine said this. Sersky noted that the Russians had transferred these forces from other fronts where they had been conducting offensive operations. We know that about 50,000 troops from other areas have been redeployed to the Kursk front, he added. The commander-in-chief emphasized that these actions by the Russian Federation have led to the weakening of Russian forces in other areas, particularly on the Zaporizhia, Kherson, and Kramatorsk fronts. This, of course, made it easier for us to conduct defensive operations, he said. The Ukrainian leadership said that one of the key goals of the operation was to divert Russian forces from Ukrainian battlefields. Sersky's figure is an increase from President Volodymyr Zelensky's estimation from September 19, when he said that 40,000 troops had been diverted to the Kursk sector. Even though Ukrainian forces continue to hold Russian territory in Kursk Oblast, the Russian offensive keeps grinding on in Ukraine's east. The Ukrainian military was recently forced to withdraw from Volodar, a town in the south of Donetsk Oblast that has withstood Russian attacks for two years. Heavy battles are also ongoing in Chasev Yar and Toritsk in Donetsk Oblast, and Russian troops are closing in on a key logistics hub in Pokrovsk. In the meantime, Russia seeks to dislodge Ukrainian troops from its home turf in Kursk Oblast, attacking Ukraine salient from the west. On October 8, 2024, French Armed Forces Minister Sébastien Lecornu officially announced that France will transfer Dassault Aviation Mirage 2000-5F fighters to Ukraine early next year. These aircraft are currently undergoing modernization to meet the standards of the French Aerospace Force. The number of aircraft to be transferred has not yet been specified, writes Aviance Legendaires. Le Cornu made the announcement during celebrations at the saint dizier 113 Air Base to mark the 60th anniversary of the Strategic Air Force's first nuclear mission. 
The news of the delivery of combat aircraft to Ukraine has undoubtedly caused a negative reaction in the Kremlin. Vladimir Putin is critical of the transfer of combat aircraft to Ukraine from European countries, which hinders his plans for a war against Ukraine. According to various sources, France will deliver 12 to 20 Mirage 2000-5F fighters in 2025. Le Corneau said that the first deliveries are planned for the first quarter of next year. From January to March. Until then, French specialists will train Ukrainian pilots and technical personnel. It is not yet known whether the transferred aircraft will include two-seater Mirage 2000 Boliviano. However, it can be said that the Mirage 2000-5F will become a multi-role combat aircraft for the Ukrainian Air Force, and the aircraft will be repainted in Ukrainian colors. One of the main modifications will be the ability to use scalp EG cruise missiles, which are already in service in Ukraine. Next year, Ukraine will receive important new weapons to fight Russian invaders. This is positive news for Ukraine and a testament to the strong diplomatic relations between Kiev and Paris. Earlier, military expert Alexander Kovalenko said that the most interesting thing about the Mirage 2000 aircraft is its combat load. He emphasized that the range of bombs used is no less interesting, GBU-12, 16, 24, 49, which are high precision with a flight range of 15 to 20 kilometers and slightly more, depending on the type.